Ladies and gentlemen, we gather here on this channel, all 100 of you, to see if I can finally get some Malgus shards in Proving Grounds in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. I am struggling, fam. I've been at this for about three months and have not been able to get a single Malgus shard off of this challenge, but we're gonna make it happen today because I went full out with the Zetas. It's also part of my Lightspeed Bundle Guide. If you guys have not watched that video, I highly recommend it. I'll try to put it on the top card of the screen as well as a link in the description. But yeah, man, I just really wanna get into it. This game has been awesome, fun, addicting. I spend maybe 20 minutes a day, which is like less than the time that you probably play playing like Call of Duty Warzone, right? And it really feels like I'm building up to something because this game is not an annual release. So I just thoroughly enjoy it and I thoroughly enjoy this community. Again, drop a like, subscribe, let's get into the video. But we're gonna try to get it done right now. The first thing I like to do here is go right into these two challenges just to get my 300 a piece. Please, just keep stunning. We need to destroy her. All right, we lose first order stormtrooper there. I'm not worried about it because now we have a stabity stab with Kylo Ren. We're just gonna continuously try to destroy her. All right, do your thing, do your thing. Yep, yep, yep. Now we're going to use our ultimate ability and I'm just gonna go all in here. I have to destroy Rey. That is the ultimate goal. All right, do that fun thing. A little bit of AOE there to give me some turn meter on my Kylo. We go all in, we're still doing damage. Stun her one more time. Yep, yep, yep. All right, we lose our lovely, let's do that. She resists Kylo there, which kind of sucks. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, she's got her ultimate again. Stabity stab, please. All right. Now I have my ultimate with my Kylo. This should pretty much wreck her from here on out. All right. We still got our Kylo somehow. He's still alive here. We're going to use the stun one more time. Just constantly, constantly try to stun Rey. That's the only thing you should really care about in this instance. All right, all right. She might get her ultimate here, which is not looking too good, bro. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh man. All right, we got our Kylo still alive. Just continuously stun, continuously attack. Yep, yep, yep. Gonna use the swipe he said. We have 500 damage here. If we got 580 damage, which is absolutely absurd. He's not taking any damage from her. Just keep... Yeah, this is it right here. This has to be it. We're going to go in with another stab. We just wipe everybody out. Finally. That took a minute. We had to go on a second try there, and we only once starred this. I don't even know how you would go about, like wiping the whole team and three starring this there's probably a really easy way to go about it but we just roasted him he's cooked and we got it to go all right so that's the 300 down there and this other one should be fairly straightforward because it's just ray and i do a ray mirror match he's she's gonna get her swipe there so now we just have these guys to worry about which is actually a much better situation now we're just gonna use our little bomb there come on do your thing do your thing yep all right we lose finn that's fine that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I almost want to use my swipe and then use the ultimate later. I don't want really these raiders doing any more damage than they need to. All right, we lose Ray. Now it's just Ray and the droids. Ooh, swipe. All right, we take him out. So now I have my ultimate and it's just Kylo. We're alive, we're, we're somehow alive. I don't know how we're alive, but we are. Yep, do your little damage, do your little damage. That's fine. Use the ultimate and take him out. So we also got one star on this one. It did take a C-3PO. You can do this without C-3PO, by the way. I only used him as a last attempt there. Now proving grounds, this is pretty nice, right? So we have some Sims. So I'm gonna Sim up Maul. We actually have fully unlocked Maul, which is awesome. I'm just gonna activate him for the video here. And you can see he is fully ready to go he's fully unlocked fully ready to go now the only thing is i need to gear him up which is the other challenge 
in this situation, right? So he doesn't even have uh, Dark Side Mandalorians, at least the way I ha currently have my team set up. I don't have Dark Side Mandalorians set up yet. This might be a side farm that I do, but as it stands right now, if I even go to like the Dark Side Mandalorians, right? Let's filter for uh, our Mandos here. We go here. I mean, you could clearly see I have Gar Saxton, like not even at seven stars. Imperial Super Commando, like Maul's gonna have to take a back seat. I thought by this point I would have Lord Vader unlocked, which is why I like kind of tried to get as many Maul shards as I could. We also get the Fury Class Interceptor, Boba Fett, Cyan, Django, which is not even like a good character apparently. And then the rest were just straight up battling it out here. Gonna use our swipe. We take out one of them. There we go. All right, we should have another swipe here. Let's take out Gar Saxton. All right, we're looking pretty good. Please survive. Oh, we somehow survived that blow. We're going to use our ability block. Come on, I need the turn meter right now. All right, so no one has translation, so let's just throw it on her. Now we have our super ability. Can we even three-star this? That would be absolutely crazy if we were able to get that to go. I doubt it, but it's worth a shot. Yup, yup, yup. Use the turn meter. All right. Imperial Super Commando. I think they're both Imperial Super Commando, so let's just use it. Barely did any damage. Oh, we might lose a character here. Yep, we did. That is quite unfortunate. Yep, just keep resisting. Use that swipe ability as much as you humanly possibly can. We're about to lose another character. I can already feel it. Oh, we lose two right there. Use the confusion. Have to use our swipe. Boom. Now it just comes down to using our ability right here. And now I think we should be able to get Maul. Let's hopefully we can. We take him out. Okay. As we get our next turn to go, I should be able to use my ultimate ability. Oh, it's looking pretty grim. We just lost two characters. And they got their health back too, which is so not good. Alright. Can I... Alright, we dodged that. Bring that on over to Ray. Ability block. Keep dodging. All right. Okay, we lose her as well, which is so not good. All right, use the ultimate. Yep. Yep, keep dodging, deflecting. Just keep doing your thing. Yep, keep dodging, keep dodging. All right. All right, keep dodging. We're losing, we're there, they're losing characters now. All right, we still have taunt on that, but this should take... Yes, let's go. Remove the turn meter and swipe. Now the other ones, except for Malgus, because we have not touched that one yet, the rest should be pretty straightforward. So I'm going to go with Ray on this one, and I want to use the same characters if possible. I might actually take Holdo out and use C-3PO here. So what I want to do here is really get BB-8 out, because I don't want any turn meter... Yep, now they're going to use their ability, but maybe... Mm, could I take turn meter away from her? Ooh, okay. Alright, that's fine. We have our ultimate, which is really what we wanted. Use that. Let's go. Alright. Yep, they, got they have some resistance there. Can I swipe her out right now? That was a bad move. I should not have done that because I forgot Ben is in this... Uh, I want to I wanna reset that. That was a misplay, and I feel like at this point, I might be able to three-star this one. So let's try that again. Yep, let her heal up first. Let's heal up our BB-8. Yep, okay, they didn't stun our BB-8, which is actually kind of nice. Yep, yep, do your thing. We're going to use that. We're going to... Yep, all right. Let's swing that on over to Finn. All right, let's give it to, yep, keep keep shooting. We're gonna swing that on over. Yep, use the grenade. Yep, all right, still alive. Still alive, and we have our ultimate. And we have turn meter as well. We're just gonna do this, because I feel like she's gonna use her swing ability any moment. 
Yep, yep, yep. She lost some health there, that's fine. I don't want to necessarily release the ultimate. Yep, perfect, she used her ability there. All right, let's just take out this BB-8. As soon as we take out BB-8, it's wraps, I think. All right. Come on. Ooh, gosh. All right, swipe that. All right, we lose BB-8. Uh, I guess we're not going to be able to get three stars on this. That's the other thing, too, is, like, you don't want to waste too much time. Like, if your characters can do it, great. But I'm also not that developed in my roster to the point that I can three-star this right one or Ben Solo challenge. Yep, and they pass it over. That's fine. That's still fine. Still alive. Now I should be able to use my ultimate... Yep, and they have all low health here, so this should be a really good situation for ourselves. Yep, now Ben is gonna be... Oh, can we get Ben here? Can we get Ben, though? Okay, very low health, very low health. Alright. And then we lose our C-3PO. That's still fine, though, because we just took out Ben. She's cooked now. Easy money. So we also got one star technically on this time around. Again, my characters still are not good enough to really, you know, stand the test of time. We're going to save Malchus for the end. Scythe should be uh, straightforward because I'm pretty sure we use Kylo for the rest of these. So we're just going to go boom, boom, boom. We're so close. All right. Boom. Hit, hit that. Hit that. Bring it back on over to Kylo. We're going to go in with our ultimate. I don't know if my guys are going to survive here. This would be pretty nice if we can actually three star something. Yep. Okay. Okay. That's fine. We're going to use our swipey swipe. All right. We take out the Grand Inquisitor here. Not too shabby. We might be able to three-star this. Let's go in. Yep. Bring it back on over to Kylo. Stun him. Yep. We're still alive. Still alive. Yep. Keep on going. Keep on going. I'm gonna stun Ninth Sister here. Can we... Ooh. Alright. We're gonna go in with our ultimate again. Use that siphon ability. We take her out. Alright. Still alive. Still alive. Alright. Oh, that was a nice second move right there. Alright, stun him again, boom, use the taunt, bring it back on over to Kylo, we're going to stun her, oh, we might be able to 3 star this one, let's stun again, bring it back on over to Kylo, can use the ultimate ability again, oh, they're so Dunyan rings, right, stun her again, oh, we, I think we 3 starred this, I think we did it. Oh, we did it. Boom, three stars. Let's go. That's a huge win, actually. So the other thing about getting three stars is now I can sim Scythe. I don't need to basically do that anymore. Get him out. All right, now the sniper droid's gone. Oh, yeah. All right, so I don't think we're going to be able to three star this one, unfortunately, but that's okay. We're going to... Hmm, I want to stun the... Count Dooku, he's out of here. We're going to hit Jango Fett. We're going to hit that. That's still okay. We're going to use our Siphon ability on Watt. We're going to... Ooh, we did not hit that. We're just going to use the Swipey Swipe. Now I have Ultimate here, which is actually really nice. We're going to... I want to stun Newt. Just stun Newt, that's fine. We're gonna use our ultimate here. Because now I'm gonna be able to get in a loop where I can just use ultimate, and we're already at one start anyway, so it's really not gonna matter. Use the swipey swipe. All right, we get both of those people out. All right, use the siphon ability on Django Fett there. Amazing. Gonna use the stun ability on Django. He's out of here. Stun him up. Now it's pretty much game, set, match. 
Yep, take him out, and she's out of here too. So we got two stars there. Probably could have three-starred it, um, but I'm not even worried about it because, again, we got the shards, so we're in a good spot. So now the last person is Malgus. Now this is the team, except for you. I'm pretty sure we use... What do we use? We use Empire. We use Thrawn here. So I have this team pretty much zated up. This is really where it comes down to RNG. This is the craziest RNG type of mode ever. And this is sh just straight up, like, you need to hit everything perfectly. The nice thing, though, is Malik now removes turn meter, or doesn't remove turn meter, but eliminates turn meter gain from Sith, which is a complete game changer in of itself. Bid oh, Bastilla got death mark, and her. Okay, how do we want to play our cards here? Um... I guess we'll go basic. Oh, we knock her out, okay. The placement might have done it, folks. All right, we knock her out. Let's go in with the ultimate. This might have done it right here. We're about to find out. All right, we lose Thrawn. Just keep going in. Keep going in with that crazy basic, or crazy, I don't know what you want to call it. All right. Boom. This is the closest I've ever gotten. All right, we lose him. Come on, we need something to go here. I have crazy damage right now. Oh my gosh, it's like he doesn't take any damage. Oh, he dodges that? Oh my gosh, bro. Can't have him death marked. You should play a game. You should say death mark when I say death mark. Death mark. And we lose Thrawn just like that. And he's got Death Mark. 305 speed with like slightly better protection? Like no, bro. We just gotta we just gotta stick this one out. Alright, counter it. Come on, we need something to happen here. Alright, alright. A little counter action. Oh my goodness. That's a little bit different. I almost want to do the stun. Let's do the fracture. Let's use that AOE. Siphon the rest out of you. Now it's just death mark. Siphon. Come on, keep going. Oh my goodness. He's so close to dying. We gotta go in with this. Alright. Alright, we lose him. Fracture. Use that ultimate. Let's see what we can come up with here. All right, use the siphon. There's no way this works. Because as soon he's gonna use his jump ability, I can already tell. All right, still somehow kicking it. Still somehow missed that. Right. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna use my ult again. We knock her out. Gotta get rid of his ability. Oh my gosh. No way this works. Oh, he dodged it. Oh! We did it! We got our Malga Shards, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh. The time has come. Execute order 20 Malga Shards. Let's go! So I think this means that we've completed every single one of these that we were able to complete. We got the Razor Crest, we got Maul Shards. Now it's just a matter of doing that and then resetting all of these mods. I think I'm gonna save these as loadout mods specifically for the Malgus event. One, two, three, four, five, this is it. So we have our loadouts in place so I can actually utilize the same mods. I can't believe we did it. Persistency is key and also watching YouTube videos. I'm gonna tell you, there's about four or five, maybe six YouTubers that have achieved doing the Malgus event with SLKR. And I'm glad to put myself in that company. We three-starred Scythe, and we also maxed out the Maul Shards. So we are making some heavy progress. I'm going to be cutting up a lot of footage that I lost in. And you guys will see the struggle for sure, but that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. So I hope you all did enjoy. Drop a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm your boy Jack, Bill, and signing off.